simplifying our sales pitch. What's happening? It's Eric J. Olson. You know, when we first started selling digital marketing, we really used the model that we were accustomed to of selling our services, but for websites and for uh, custom software development and mobile apps. That's our background. That's where we came from. We started off by building websites and building software applications. And then over time, we got into digital marketing, which is a little bit different from other marketing agencies. A lot of marketing agencies came from legacy, traditional marketing, billboards, newspapers, TV, radio, right? And then when this digital thing came out, they added that. So they also do digital. Well, we transitioned from doing digital work, just building websites and software to only doing digital marketing. That's all we do now. So our approach has always been, well, in the beginning, I should say our approach to selling digital marketing was very similar to how we sold software, which is it was very consultative. We would sit down with the prospect, we'd ask them what they want, we'd give some examples of what they like to think about. Like when you're, you know, if you were to buy a website, you probably would give the web developer a couple of examples of websites that you like, and you would talk through what you're looking for, and then we would give a price. Over time, we discovered a concept of doing an audit for a prospect so that we could tell them where the holes are in their digital marketing. And then once we knew where those holes were, we could come up with a proposal on what it was gonna take to plug the holes. I learned this concept probably about three years ago from this very first salesperson that we hired here at Array Digital. Person is no longer with us, but before I even met him, I saw one of his audits. We took that concept and we ran with it and we have what we call today the digital marketing review. The problem with the digital marketing review is that it has grown in size and it's become a monster. There was a time that I looked at it about two months ago. It had 132 slides in it. It was just so big. It would take 30 seconds to make a copy of it so that I could customize it for a prospect. And who the hell wants to sit through a 132 slide presentation? No one. So, you know, a lot of times we'll actually skip slides. So we have a ton of stuff in there, like backup to backups to backups of slides, just in case we need them. But I don't like that process. I don't like having a whole bunch of extra stuff because if you have that stuff, you'll inevitably find a reason to use it. You know, uh, if you've got a lot of tools in your toolbox, you'll pull every one of them out. But if you only got two or three, you'll make do and you'll make sure it gets done. So that's kind of the analogy. I, I just, I hate having all this shit laying around to be quite honest with you. I want a slimmed down digital marketing review pitch deck. And that is exactly what Kevin and I worked on yesterday. Now, Kevin worked on it by himself recently and he got the 132 slides down to 26, which sounds great. But as I was going through there, I was like, we don't need this. We don't need this other one. We don't need this. And we just started to delete, 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 take any pieces that were pertinent from some slides and move it into consolidated slides. Guess what we got it down to? We got it down to seven slides. And one of the slides for sure always that's going to be presented is price. We are getting ready to hire two brand new salespeople here, sales managers, if you will. They'll be managing their own work and their own pipeline. They're actually getting the title of sales manager. And we need to train them properly on this new slim down process. I don't want to spend three or four meetings going through a very, very large pitch deck because we couldn't get through at the last meeting. And so we need a follow on meeting or follow on to that. We need to have this process where we can pitch within half an hour and either get to a yes or get to a no. So that's our goal. Seven slides. It is done. And we are going to be rolling that out to the sales team. And I'm super excited. I can't wait to have a more efficient pitching process. If you're efficient at pitching, you'll be more efficient at closing. Hey there, it's Eric J. Olson. I wanted to let you know about my book, Million Dollar Journey, How to Launch a Seven-Figure Business. This is the story of what it took for me to go from freelancer with no clients, no employees, no revenue, 
to growing a million dollar business. It took me eight years and I made a lot of mistakes and all of those mistakes and more importantly, lessons learned are in this book. And we have chapter takeaways, five to 15 takeaways that you could apply right now to your business. Check it out on Amazon, Million Dollar Journey by me, Eric J. Olson.